Hey everybody, Anel here with NKY Honeybees. Welcome back and today we got another video. We're gonna do an inspection on my Hive IQ hives and I'm also going to add a couple of deeps on a couple of those hives. So I believe our flow is about to be here soon and those boxes are full enough where they need additional boxes. But we'll take a look at that. If they don't, we won't add them. If they do, we'll go ahead and throw one on there. I've got the boxes ready, so let's get in the hive and see what we can find and give them some more room. All right, let's get in there. All right, so let's go ahead and jump right in here. And look at that. Just in time, I think. Take a look at this. Ah, they're starting to build comb upward towards the super. Surprised they haven't started from the top, actually. Uh, from the cover down. <laughs> Interesting. So this is actually, let me move, remove my hive heart. Yeah, the box looks really full of bees. So we're going to go ahead and take this. I'm sorry, ladies. I know you worked hard on that. But we're going to give you more room. So just looking at this, I can tell that this box needs another, uh, another box. Another deep. That's what I'm going to use. I haven't decided yet if I'm going to use single deeps. Uh, single brood management or or if I'm gonna do double deep we'll see all right let's get right in here and see what's going on beautiful frame see bees with pollen that's honey and pollen same thing on this side all right gonna set that to the side for just a second so we can work with the hive it's beautiful weather today it's eclipse day by the way happy eclipse day we had 99.4 totality. It was kind of strange to see, but I loved it. And it's about 75 and sunny, so. Wow, looks good. Got some brood, some pollen and nectar on the sides. Hopefully you can spot the queen too. Look at that beautiful brood pattern. Yeah, some of this is laid up too. It's all um, new larvae. It's gonna be kept soon. Yeah, just just in couple of frames in, or even just opening the box, as you can see, they're building <laughs> comb going up. Yes, bees do that. Look at this thing here. Wow. Wow, this hive is about to explode. That is awesome to see. Look at that pattern. Let's take a quick peek on the other side. Oh, yeah. I don't see the queen, but this uh, this hive, if we didn't give it any room, would probably swarm on us. Uh, probably really soon too. However, I'm hoping that's not the case yet. This is a new frame they built out, made a lot of brood. This is one of my overwintered hives. I uh, got some drone too, but this here is laid up too with young larvae and eggs. All right. Wow, there's a lot of bees in this one. Let me just give them a little bit of smoke here. Thankfully, they're calm to work with. Yeah, that's another frame of brood on the next one. I can see it from here. So this is pretty much ready for nectar flow. When it hits, there's a lot of bees, a lot of bees coming. Wow. Yeah, that's a lot. <laughs> Guess what the next frame is? If you had to bet on it, would you say it's brood? Well, if you did, you would win the bet. Look at this. Another one. This queen is definitely doing her job. This is full of pollen, some cat brood and larvae, but mostly pollen, at least this side of the frame. Beautiful colors. Yeah, so just um, I think I've seen enough here, really. I'm going to take a look at a couple of more frames, but for now, I can just tell they need another box. Not just that they're building comb coming up off of the frames, but just the amount of bees and amount of brood. 
that's going to do this is it's gonna be a huge high so this is all laid up some cat brood and pollen and stuff but most of this is just awesome yeah this one too take a look at this larvae for example so I'll bring that in a little bit look at this like back to back obviously some um, some pollen up on the corners and and nectar but this is just this makes a beekeeper happy my friends all right so we have this open let's just take a look at these frames too and then what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna add another deep uh for this one and then i'll go to the next one that i think needs a deep yeah this is just pollen and nectar i haven't seen the queen and i spoke too soon there she is every time i say i haven't seen a queen she comes right up look at that lady beautiful just looking for places to lay i gotta move the smoker yeah this is an empty frame she's working on so i'm gonna leave them alone and i'm gonna add another box we're gonna just go ahead and add that right up top on this one and then we're gonna move to the next uh next hive iq hive by the way so far i love these hives definitely good hives to have they're super light and super insulated here we go we got another deep right on top we're gonna close that up let's go to the next hive all right so this here is my other hive iq hive we're gonna uh, go ahead and open that up and voila Pretty much the same thing. Take a look at this. Yeah, if I could get that off. They have that glued in. Look at that. They're also building comb right on top. We're going to give them a little bit of smoke. And just knowing that actually... I'm taking a look. It looks like there's eggs in this. So the queen might have been up here. Yeah, let's take a look at this a little closer. Not sure if you can see it, but there's actually eggs in this comb. So the queen came up. She definitely needs room to lay. And good thing we checked. Let me move my hive heart. And let's just go like we did on the last one. This one seems about the same. Also another overwintered hive. Yeah, that's it's just nectar. Nectar and pollen on this side. I'm gonna put that aside so we can work with the rest of the rest of the frames. Hopefully we can spot the queen on this one too. So this here is, there's nectar pollen mixture and eggs and larvae. I'm gonna flip that over. Yeah, this is, this is just simply eggs. <laughs> All right, so let's move that over and go to the next frame. Hey oh man, there's a lot of bees in here. I am so glad I checked this. And it's gonna be rainy for next three to four days I believe yeah here we go just a lot of brood a lot of bees a lot of everything except honey but that should change in just a week or two because we got weather it's been rainy spring beautiful and warm so a lot of things are blooming now and starting to bloom um, next week is going to be a lot of days in 70s temperatures, so that's going to bring pretty much everything out. Look at that. I can actually smell fresh nectar. Um, how you can smell it, it just smells like honey-ish, but it's a different aroma though. It's um, depending what they're foraging on, you can smell it. In this hive I can, it's coming right up. Look at this.
Yeah, these are here. These here are fresh eggs, but I want to show you something. There is a... I keep seeing these... Uh, these bees with orange heads. Let me see if I can get her actually on the camera. Look at that. So the bees with orange heads, I have a lot of them in a lot of hives. And I've only seen that this year. I haven't seen it before. So I just wonder if anybody knows what that is. Let me know. I'm sure I can Google it, but I'd rather ask you guys. Okay. Let's go on. Uh, let's move on to the next one. Man, so many bees. So that's what happens when you got a lot of bees. You're going to squish some. Unfortunately, that's the name of the game, as they say. Looks like we got some drone brood on this one. Look at that, right on top. So far it looks good. There's no queen cups, cells, anything like that. That's really what I don't want to do, is deal with swarming currently. But I think I'm here just in time. If not late, just a little bit. That's also probably the case here. However, I think we're good to go adding another box. They're going to spread out and Queen might even go to the top box and start laying that up. And then I'll decide if I'm going to do single brood management once the nectar flow starts. I can just put the Queen down and, and actually have her lay down there and use the top for honey. So we'll see how that works. Like I said, my first year working with these Hive IQ hives and I love them so far. But they do have nine frames, not ten. So I gotta make sure that's enough for the queen bee to lay. Larvae again, full frame. Let's see if we can see the queen. Wasn't really paying too much attention. Yeah, same thing on this side. This is just about to be capped. And let's take a look at the last frame since this is open anyway. I won't take a look at uh, the other two hives, Hive IQ hives, because one is a package that I've already uh, looked at. I have a video on that. You can take a look at that. And the second one is my weaker hive that I gave some assistance to. It's building back up, but it's still not ready to have another box put on there. It's just a lot of pollen and nectar. Beautiful sight. Smells so good. So I'm going to put this back together and then we're going to talk about these two. Beautiful. They're going to be happy. They're just going to come up and start working on these uh, right away. Just going to put this top, close that up and that's it. All right, guys. So I hope you enjoyed the video. These hives are doing fantastic. As you can see, I've added another deep on each one of these hives and they're going to be ready for this coming up flow. However, I did forget to put my hive hearts back in, so I'm going to have to toss that back in. Um, but anyway, so I'll keep you up to the updated as the season goes on. This is a weaker hive, so it doesn't need another box just yet. Maybe another two to three weeks. And this is a new package I installed just less than two weeks ago. So these are fine for now, but these two are ready to go. So thank you. I hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, go ahead and give me some comments. Let me know what you think. And I'll see you in the next video.